On Earth, time feels pretty steady. Seconds, minutes, hours, all ticking away. But step off our planet and reality starts to bend. In space, time isn't universal. It's flexible, shaped by gravity and speed. If you zoom away on a spaceship, racing at insane speeds, your clock ticks slower than clocks back home. Scientists call this special relativity, meaning the faster you move, the more you stretch time. Imagine traveling at 99% the speed of light for a year. When you return, it'd be like seven years zipped by on Earth. Cool, right? Tap like if you thought time travel was just science fiction. But there's another twist gravity. According to Einstein, the closer you are to a massive object, like Earth or a black hole, the slower time flows. This is gravitational time dilation. On the surface, Earth's gravity drags on time, stretching each second. High up, in the realm of satellites, clocks actually tick a little quicker. That's why engineers tweak GPS satellites. Without these fixes, your map would get lost by kilometers. Want a real-world example? Astronauts who spend a year on the International Space Station will age just a smidge less than folks on Earth, about 0.007 seconds younger for each six months in orbit. Not enough to skip a birthday party, but real nonetheless. Near black holes, time gets truly wild. Gravity is so strong, seconds stretch out. If you watched from afar, you'd see an object slow down, then freeze at the edge, the event horizon. Travel close to a black hole, and you could live through minutes while centuries flash by for everyone else. All in all, time beyond our planet isn't one size fits all. Speed and gravity warp it, changing how we experience now. Ever wondered if one day we'll use these effects for real time travel? Comment your theories. Could humanity leap into the future? And if you think this appends everything you learned in school, subscribe to What If Logic. Like for more brain bending facts, and let's debate in the comments below. Did we explain time dilation just right, or are you still stuck in Earth time?